Are you engaged in Caterpillar English learning? If you are, watch this video. This morning I was talking to one of my coaching clients, a language teacher, and we were talking about uh, the frankly quite bizarre uh, ideas that some people have about improving their English. Uh, ideas that are very, very common, very, very widespread, but actually don't really make that much sense. And we were kind of talking about why. Why is this? And I said, aha, it's Caterpillar English learning. What? What are you talking about? My client said. So I explained. A French biologist, John Henry Fabre. Fabre? Fabre. 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 I have no idea how to pronounce the French. Uh, but whatever, you get the idea. Did an experiment with caterpillars. Caterpillars, you see, doubt their own decisions and prefer to just follow the caterpillar in front. And what this French biologist did was take a flower pot and fill the middle with pine needles. A caterpillar's favourite food, by the way. So what this French biologist did was take a plant pot, fill the middle with pine needles, a caterpillar's favourite food, and then place a circle of caterpillars around the rim of the flower pot so they were all behind another caterpillar. What happened? Well, each caterpillar just blindly followed the caterpillar in front. And the caterpillars went around and around and around and around in a circle, on and on and on, until one by one they dropped dead of hunger and exhaustion. Not a single one of the caterpillars in the circle thought to break away from the perpetual circular motion and head towards the middle of the pot where delicious food awaited. You see the same thing with language learning and indeed really any area of life. People start to work on their English, they say I need to improve, I don't speak well enough, I need to get better at this. Then they doubt what they are doing and say I don't know if this is working, I don't know if this is what I should do. They look to then other people and start to copy what other people are doing. However, those other people also have the same doubts and are doing the same thing. They're all copying each other, not really understanding what the other is doing, just blindly copying what they see on the surface. One person says, you just have to chat with native speakers and everybody believes that's what they've got to do, even if none of them in the group seem to be getting any results. One person says you've got to study grammar rules, so they all start to blindly follow, and on and on and on goes the perpetual motion of Caterpillar English learning. Well, I'll tell you right here, right now, my clients are making five key changes to the way that they learn English that are completely different to what anybody else is doing and they are getting extraordinary results as a result. And you too can discover those five changes by heading over to doingenglish.com slash free training, where I will teach you all about, again, these changes that you need to make. Alternatively, if you just wanna get down and dirty with me as a client and have me coach you through the process, help you to transform your English speaking, head over to doingenglish.com slash talk to book a free one-on-one -on -one coaching consultation with me to talk about how I may be able to help you to make that English speaking transformation. What I do recommend, however, is that you stop looking at other people and blindly copying what you think they are doing because you don't know if they are any more successful than you or not and simply doubting what you are doing and copying everybody else probably isn't helping you that much. This is me, Julian Northbrook, signing out from another video. If you found this useful, give it a nice big old thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up anyway, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one. Bye-bye.